Welcome everybody. We are at uh, Blair Updike's studio in Highland Park, Florida. <laughs> Blair, thanks for <laughs> yeah. thanks for talking to my tripod with me. Yes. <laughs> um, so Blair does oil painting. I don't know called oil pastels. That's a different thing. That's different. I can't do that. It's a crayon of sorts. <laughs> Dirtier crayon. Um, but I've admired Blair's work since high school when she was. Um, Sharing an art studio with the rest of us at All Saints Academy. And yeah, Blair, tell us um, why oil painting and what you like doing. Um, I learned oil painting at All Saints. We were lucky they let us do that and gave us a space for it. Um, and just sort of stuck with it. it I, I like the texture of it and the look of it. And I think it's just a really beautiful medium. And it's so pretty doing of the process too. Like there's a lot of um, beauty in the process. So that's Oh yeah, and you were telling me a minute ago, um, light to dark, dark to light. Yeah. Long. <laughs> this is what I'm bad at acrylic. So oil painting, you paint from thinner to thicker. So you want transparent to opaque and dark to light. Acrylic is like the opposite, so I, that's why I'm really bad at it. No, no, no. And then watercolor just requires a whole lot of planning and control that I don't have either. <laughs> yeah, well, it's amazing how like you have such an amazing eye, but it, it is interesting how different people with with different creative or visual skills can express themselves through different tools because you know you with a different set of tools is going to have a different outcome. And I think sometimes you have a medium that matches your personality Yeah. and that I know it's not watercolor. <laughs> so how does oil painting match your personality? What's that? Tell me about that. I, <laughs> what an interesting um, it's sort of like messy <laughs> but um, I like that I can kind of put it down and come back yeah. in a couple of days and it doesn't really change process for me that much and I can there may not even be any consequences in terms of like the paint drying in certain ways like the paint on the palette might even still be wet in a couple days oh. so I haven't wasted things so the yeah. brushes are still okay and all that stuff I like that. so it buys me a little time yeah um and I just like the way that you can kind of start with washes that are really thin and layer in and then really use thick paint and good, good paint quality mm -hmm. too that's something that's more unique to oil painting Right, because oil gets almost a ridge to it, like yeah. have shape. And I intentionally use brushes a lot of times that have, you can see the actual brush strokes from the crystals in it, so that it really catches the light. If you do a brush stroke this way and it's a light color, it really, the light cascades across it, so you get even a brighter bright. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. 